our first step in the solution strategy is to draw the diagram. This uh, diagram is basically our general diagram for counter current flow through a series of equilibrium stages. Uh, we've left off the subscript because there's only one solute that we're interested in this case. At the bottom left we have L0 which is the feed flow, X0 which is the feed concentration. At the top right we have V N plus 1 which is our fresh solvent flow, Y N plus 1 which is the concentration of the solute in the fresh solvent, in this case that is zero. At the top left we have the final extract with flow V1, concentration Y1, and at the bottom right the final raffinate flow and composition. The next step is to write the total and component mass balances for those systems. So the total mass balance is very simple, just L0 plus V N plus 1 equals M, which is our total mixture quantity or total mixture flow, and that's equal to LN plus V1, the two flows out of the system. And likewise for each of those streams in terms of the component mass balance. We can calculate ZM, or the concentration of solute in the mixed stream, from the mass balance. And this is used to locate the point M on the mass balance line L0 M V N plus 1. So that calculation is done like this. ZM is equal to L0 times X0, so basically the flow rate of solute into the system divided by the total mixture quantity. The total mixture is just equal to L0 plus Vn plus 1 and if we substitute in the numbers and solve that we obtain a value of Zm equals 0 0.223. On our equilibrium diagram we can locate the first point which is Vn plus 1. So in this example our solvent is pure so it has a concentration of 0. We can locate the point L0 which is 0 0.3 and we draw the line that joins the two. So we solved in the previous stage for Z and we said that that was equal to 0 0.223 and so we can locate on that line the mixture point using that value of Z. The next stage or the next step in our solution strategy is to draw the line LN M V1 and read off the value of Y1. So LN is our final extract composition and we know that, it's stated in the problem. So that's marked there on the left hand side of the curve. We draw a straight line from LN through point M until it intersects the other side of the curve at point V1. And from there we just read across to the left axis. Okay, So the left axis is telling us the mass fraction of C which is the solute that we're interested in in this particular example and so the value that we read off is 0 0.380. The next step in our solution strategy is to draw the lines L0 V1 delta and LN Vn plus 1 delta. So starting at uh, L0 V1 delta and drawing the line from Vn plus 1 through Ln to delta. The intersection of these points is, is the operating point and that's the same for every single one of the stages. So the point V1 that we identified uh, is by definition in equilibrium with L1. So as is common we assume that in every single stage equilibrium is reached and so the streams ex exiting each stage are in equilibrium. 
and we can locate point L1 which corresponds to V1 using a tie line. So to obtain the values to, to draw that tie line we look at our XY distribution chart which shows the distribution of C between the two phases. The X axis is the mass fraction of C in A and the Y axis is the mass fraction of C in B. So that value Y1 equals 0 0.380 which we read off from the point V1. We just read across to the line and drop down to the X axis to read off the corresponding value of X1 equals 0 0.270. So this will be the concentration of the solute C in the B solvent. We can uh, mark that value on the axis and identify the point L1. So point V1 and point L1 are joined by a tie line which is drawn here in yellow. The next step in our solution strategy is to draw the line L1 V2 delta which locates point V2 for us. So we draw that line starting at the delta or the operating point, pass through the point L1 which we just found and where it intersects the other side we have point V2. If we read off to the axis we find that Y2 is equal to 0 0.325 and then we go through the same procedure again. V2 is in equilibrium with L2 okay. so we locate point L2 again using a tie line to obtain the values for that tie line we read them off the XY graph so Y2 equals 0 0.325 we draw our line across to the curve and drop it down to the x-axis to, to obtain a value of x2 equals 0 0.210. So plotting that value of x2 on our diagram, we can then identify point L2 and V2 and L2 are joined by a tie line. We then continue in the same way we draw our line from the delta point through L2 to locate V3. Again V3 and L3 are in equilibrium. We won't show again obtaining those values from the XY graph because it's very straightforward. So those two points are plotted and we can draw a tie line to join them up. Again, we draw our line from the delta point through, in this case, L3 to locate point V4. V4 and L4 must be in equilibrium by definition. So we read off the value of X4 from our XY distribution diagram and we can locate the point L4 and draw a final tie line. So it can be clearly seen here that point X4 lies below the point Xn, which is our final point. So we've actually reached the end. Uh, in this case, N is theoretically equal to approximately 3.3 stages.